What I have here is a model that relates three predictor latent variables with one criterion latent variable. This is a, a, a from a study of information overload. So I have three variables here. Uh, data was collected in multiple countries. Um, this variable, volume information exchanges, uh, refers to the number of information exchanges uh, that an individual engages in. Here it's number of information transactions and this is power distance and this is information overload. Now as you can see here volume of written information exchanges uh, has a relationship with uh, information overload defined by this uh, path coefficient 0.19 and the p-value given the sample size the sample size here is 184, so the number of cases or rows and model data is 184. Given this sample size, this path coefficient should be should lead to a p-value that is uh, lower than 0.05. So the fact that the p-value is 0.31 here, and this is a one-tailed p-value, it suggests to me that maybe there is something in the data set that is causing instability in the resample set uh, that was used to calculate this p-value. So let me take a, the plot, take a, a look at the plot relating those two variables. So volume of information uh, and information overload. And when I take a look at the plot, I see that there are two outliers here that seem to be significantly affecting the shape of the relationship. This may be the cause of the instability in the resample set. So how do I deal with this problem? There are two ways of doing that. One is to go to the option settings, view and change settings, and use only ranked data in the analysis. So I'll choose this option, I'll redo my analysis, And here I am. I have now a beta coefficient, a path coefficient, that is a little bit lower than before, but the, the p-value now is lower than 0.05, that is statistically significant. Let's take a look at the shape of the relationship. There it is. So as you can see now, the, the outliers disappeared from the data set. Uh, because I used ranked data. So all of the data all of all of the indicators was ranked before the analysis was conducted. This is one way of dealing with outliers. Another way is to remove the outliers from the analysis. In order to do that I will undo, I will uh, choose to do the analysis again with the original data set and not ranked so that I can get back to what I had before. And that's the high uh, p-value for the uh, path coefficient. And what I'm going to do now is take a again a look at the plot. And as I can see here, these two outlier points, they are above four standard deviations from the mean on the variable volume of written information exchanged. So if I restrict the range of the analysis to minus two to four standard deviations on this variable, then I will exclude those two outliers. That's what I'm going to do. So I will close out of here. I'll go to the option modify and I will choose the option add one or more latent variable scores as new standardized indicators. So I will choose the latent variable volume of written information exchanges. I will add it to my data set as a standardized indicator. Close out of here. Then I'll go to the option view and save settings and I will choose the range restriction variable type a standardized indicator. I will then select that latent variable and I will set the range restriction to minus 
2 to 4. That will exclude two data points from the analysis, the outliers. I'll save settings and I'll redo the analysis. See, now, now as you can see, uh, similarly to what happened when I used only ranked data, the beta coefficient or path coefficient went down a little bit, but the p-value uh, became lower than 0.05 and therefore significant. Same happened with this other path coefficient here. So this seemed to have been a good uh, alternative to deal with the outliers. If I look at the plot, we'll see the outliers are no longer there. Now these values are different than before because the data was re-standardized now without the two data points, the outliers. Uh, if I take a look at general results and I look at the sample size, now as you can see the sample size used for this analysis is only 182 cases because two were removed. So this concludes this demo on how to handle uh, outliers by essentially removing them. One option was to use only ranked data which preserves, preserves the sample size and the other is to exclude the outliers from the analysis by using a uh, range restriction uh, variable which is a latent variable.